Okay, we're live here at the Fremont Whole Foods with Abby Herrera, the volunteer executive director of the Portland Kitchen, along with Mainstream Media's first reporter, Angela Blessing. And we had a uh, fundraiser here at the Whole Foods for Portland Kitchen. And Abby, talk about your organization. Well, we are an emerging comprehensive culinary program, and we hope to open in 2013. And our pilot schools are Madison High School and Park Rose High School. And our value proposition is to teach job skills, and there's also a secondary nutritional component to it as well. Okay, and I know Angela and I have been uh, talking about Portland kitchen, kitchen and going over some questions. And Angela, you have some questions here. So, how many students do you have? Well, we haven't opened yet, but when we do open, we'll be serving 60 students per year. And so we have a school year program, and that will be two cohorts of 20 students each, and they'll get they'll receive 140 hours of instruction throughout the year. And then the summer program, one cohort, 20 students, and they'll have 90 hours of instruction. Um, my other question is, um, do these students already know how to cook, or do they learn from scratch? They do. You know, they, some of the students do have experience cooking, but uh, more important, they're just interested in a safe place to go after school and uh, learn some culinary skills. So they could be very green to the culinary world, or they could be personal chefs to their own family, and they want to enhance their skills. Uh, my other question is, when was the earliest age you started learning how to cook? I was six years old. I made lots of cookies, and I do remember this one time. I believe I put two cups of baking soda instead of two cups of flour, and that was quite the mess for chocolate chip cookies. What did it taste like? It was <laughs> I think I took the entire pan and like just dumped it into the trash can. And my mom, which is really good, she just laughed hysterically. But my mom always trusts me around the oven, which is good. <laughs> what is your favorite thing that you've ever cooked? Tough one. Um, mac and cheese. I made a really great mac and cheese with a, a cashew-based cheese sauce that I actually learned from Whole Foods Fremont. And my other question is, if you were to tell me how to make French toast, how would, what would you say? Because I don't know how to cook it or make it, so I want you to tell me how to cook it. Yeah, well, I would uh, say let's find some, like a bag of bread, pull out two slices, put it inside, go to your refrigerator and grab an egg or two, crack it and beat it up and stick the bread in the egg and soak it on both sides. Maybe kind of just like stick the bread in the bowl with the egg for a little while. Probably should put a little bit of cinnamon and sugar in the egg bread mixture. And then while that's sitting, go to your stove and put probably about a tablespoon of butter into a pan a skillet and get it pretty hot. And then uh, take the bread and egg mixture and put it into the skillet and just cook it all the way through like you're scrambling eggs. You know how like eggs look when they're done cooking? Yeah, that's the consistency like for the, the bread. Um, have you ever made French toast with like different ingredients? No, I haven't. I actually think I've made French toast only one time in my life. I should probably make some more of that. <laughs> Is that your favorite? Yes. Is it Thank you. I really appreciate you coming out here. It's wonderful meeting you. Maybe I'll, I'll ask one question as well. We'll do a little editing here. But um, how can our how can our viewers and our supporters uh, help you? How should they get involved with the Portland Kitchen? Well, right now we're working on our Open the PDX Kitchen campaign, where we're looking to raise a year one's operating budget. And the best way to get involved, to partner, donate, or even uh, put your name in to volunteer with us is uh, theportlandkitchen.org. Okay, thank you. Thank you.